Texas Governor Greg Abbott has released a couple of proposals when it comes to gun reforms that he may like to see in the state of Texas, and they do differ a little bit from what the lieutenant governor has come out in favor of. Hey everyone, I'm Chad Easty, host of the Chad Easty Show, which airs weekday mornings 8.30 to 11 a.m. Central Time on News Talk 95.1 FM and 7.90 a.m. KFYO. The governor's report, which was released on Thursday, suggested improving voluntary background checks for person-to-person gun sales. According to the Texas Tribune, uh, the uh, Texas Safety Action Report released on Thursday elaborates on the eight executive orders the governor issued earlier this month, his office said. One of the most notable recommendations to the legislature includes a suggestion to, quote, consider ways to make it easy, affordable, and beneficial for a private seller of firearms to voluntarily use background checks when selling firearms to strangers. Now, this might be an idea that's not too bad, that uh, if you want to sell to someone uh, who you meet on Facebook or you meet uh, you know, in, a, in a, a social club or whatever, and you want to get a background check before you sell that firearm, uh, because there might be a lot of people who are worried. You know, I don't know who I'm selling to. I don't know if this gun is going to be used in a crime. I, I just don't know. Um, should it be easy, should it be uh, cost-effective to go and get a background check if both parties want that to happen? Uh, It'll be interesting to see exactly uh, the details on this and what the governor wants to do. Uh, You know, just just, off the top of my mind, I I don't mind the voluntary as long as it remains voluntary. Uh, Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick came out in favor of mandatory background checks uh, for stranger-to-stranger cells, and that is something that I am not in favor of uh, at this time. Uh, I think that uh, it, it does provide a slippery slope. I also wonder, can this already happen? and Does this already happen? So, in other words, if, if I want to sell a firearm to someone, can't I already go to a firearms dealer and get a background check done? I don't know. I've never sold a gun that way. That's something to explore. Uh, the the other thing that the governor came out with uh, was, was and it, it, it's kind of useless to do this because it's already a uh, uh, against federal law, and uh, that is uh, to, to come out against straw purchases, uh, which, are again, are already illegal under federal law. That occurs when a person is purchasing a firearm for someone who cannot basically can't qualify uh, to buy a firearm. So that's already illegal on the federal level. I don't know how uh, enacting another state law uh, would do anything. I guess if you really want to, you okay. But uh, again, it's already against federal law, so I don't see really the point uh, in tackling th- this issue. Uh, really, I don't see any of these proposals going anywhere right now at all because we're two years away from the legislature meeting. Uh, there's a lot to go through until then. And oh yeah, uh, the big topic in the upcoming legislative session is going to be redistricting. And if Republicans are able to hold on to the House, if they're able to hold on to the Senate, uh, then uh, that's where their focus is going to be. I don't think it's going to be on background checks and private uh, person-to-person sales. Uh, if uh, you know What I would like to see if uh, the governor and the lieutenant governor and Republicans are in favor of doing this uh, uh, voluntary background check type of deal. Uh, how about you give something uh, to uh, to gun owners out there, such as constitutional carry, uh, or come out with something uh, that uh, will allow gun owners and those who have gone through a license to carry class to carry in more places like bars uh, and stadiums and other places. Just because I go into a bar, I decide to, uh, to to not to drink. I'm the designated driver. I'm not going to get intoxicated. My rights should not end just because I walk into a bar uh, or a football stadium. So something uh, for uh, Republicans to consider in the future. Again, I, I, I don't see any of these proposals going anywhere anytime soon. I don't see there being a special I don't see there being a special session right now. Uh, but some interesting proposals and some daylight between the governor and the lieutenant governor. It'll be interesting to see if the lieutenant governor is actually in favor of what uh, the governor is proposing or if he wants those mandatory background checks for stranger to stranger uh, sales. Tune in to the Chad Easty Show weekday mornings, 8.30 to 11 a.m. Central Time on News Talk 95.1 FM and 790 AM KFYO. Have a great day.